So here's part two, folks. Um, and just want to say again, huge thank you to uh, to Jill and Alan. Uh, but also there was there was Lucy, met Rachel and Donna from Smile. There was Becky and Catriona from the CMA team. And uh, for all I know, there may have been others, uh, others of you there. Thank you so much for giving your time to do that event on Saturday. Really excellent. Um, and uh, hopefully very fruitful in terms of uh, making the connections. And um, it, it's a reminder because the whole point of the event was to help people who maybe were struggling a little bit from financial uh, difficulties. And I also want to update you because uh, this coming week is Living Wage Foundation Week. Um, so Living Wage Foundation, we're a member of that. And uh, we're really proud to be a member of that. So what uh, the Living Wage Foundation have asked members, member organisations to do is to increase the living wage level from 990 per hour to 1090 per hour as a standard by May next year. Now, as uh, we talked with the, the trustees and we're absolutely committed to doing that over the coming months. Uh, and we actually recognise, of course, that uh, there may be staff right across the organisation who are facing economic challenges. So we want to recognise that and we're looking at everybody's salary from a cost of living perspective. So over the next few weeks, the trustees and myself are going to sit down and we're going to look at how do we balance those inflationary pressures with the amount of funding that we've actually got available. And uh, we'll come back to you as soon as we can on that to give you, give you a clear uh, route forward. But we just wanted to say... Uh, up front that we are committed to taking that living wage up um of course if you are really struggling uh, economically or financially at the moment please 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 do uh, do have a with your line manager or myself and uh, very confidentially we'll see what we can do to help with that um so uh, th there's lots of stuff going on isn't there at the moment about uh, trying to help people through some of those economic things um i know some of you have been using we, we were talking on friday at a meeting about the wardrobe foundation which some of you use as sort of help with clothing and don't forget that if you're within uh, the bournemouth bournemouth christchurch area there's also access to uh, hope and more who have clothing vouchers for those who may be struggling to afford that and indeed I'd be interested to know whether some of you are still using shoe vouchers because uh, we can get some more of those. Those have been really helpful in the past to enable people just to get a pair of uh, pair of solid shoes, uh, particularly at the um, the homeless end of the uh, end of the pitch. There's lots of stuff going on about warm spaces. You'll be aware we're tracking all of those churches who are potentially opening up warm spaces because we want to invite them to be part of the We're Here network. You know, really raising the bar in terms of training churches and linking them together so that they are can be the best they possibly can be. Uh, welcoming people through the doors whatever their situation um just so you're aware there's some funding which has just come out in bcp and we'll be getting the word around so if you, again if you know churches or organizations who could benefit from that and similarly there is a community and culture uh, project fund in dorset council area so be aware of those as it was really lovely i was in winborn on friday and a uh, great job, Rachel, in showing around Vicky Slade. But actually, you were talking about uh, Margaret, one of the volunteers, was talking about their um, warm space that they'd run on Wednesday with the Elim Church uh, and Wimborne Food Bank together. And it was lovely to hear of two older ladies who'd never met each other, came to the event, got to know, got to start talking with each other. And they decided to call each other the Rocking Nanners. So, so Rocking Nanners, we salute you. Um, it's a bit of a reminder, actually, if you want, for the whole strategy that we've got as FaithWorks, that, you know, no one's more than 15 minutes away from a place of friendship, support and hope. Uh, well, and that's quite useful for my reminder, because all, all these things are connected together. Uh, we've got a trusty away day this coming Friday. And um, we'll be obviously thinking about, you know, what is our strategy for the next year, not to two, next two years and, and focusing around that idea of life centres and never being more than 15 minutes away. But we also want to talk about what should our voice be? How, when should we speak up and, and talk about some of the issues we're seeing? Clearly, we've been very good at keeping a positive message and we want to keep that message of hope to people. But we're also seeing some really, really challenging uh, situations. And it's what should, you know, we're beginning to get a reputation in different places. Maybe it's a particular part of the project. Maybe it's one of the food banks you can speak into your local town, but also as more widely FaithWorks involved in several partnerships. What should our voice be? Telling the reality, pointing to hope. Please, if you've got anything to add on that, do give me a shout this in these next coming days, because um, we want to really think about that and how we uh, how we best use the situations we get into. Um. The reality, of course, comes to light when you hear stories back. And a lovely story this week that Charlie was saying on Monday about the guy who's been four weeks clean and he's coming to church and he feels safe. And the little words he used were, you lot have changed my life and don't want anything in return. 
I love that, you know, the humility that you guys put into this. So thank you for that. And it's a good example um, for all of us, for that guy and for all of us. I From uh, Psalm 34, which I really like, I sought the Lord. He answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Well, you're looking pretty good, folks. Just one other thing. There's uh, this bro. This has just come out. It's probably backwards for you. But this is an Advent uh, series of little um, thoughts for each day of Advent. And uh, you'll see uh, on one of the days that there's a, this bloke called Alistair Doxit Purser who's put something in. Um, I've got a load of these uh, in the office or we can get them to you if you're where you are locally. If you're interested in having a few to give you a reflection each day of Advent, then um, please give me a shout and we'll get some over to you. Have a really good week, folks. We salute you as always. Well done.